Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 35 in Azure Data Factory Real Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can compare our source data with target data using data flows inside Azure Data Factory. So, this particular scenario or this data flows, right? Uh, whatever we see inside this data flows or inside the pipelines of ADF, this can be achieved even in the Synapse as well because in the Synapse also. It is in a way like integrated ADF only as a Synapse pipelines. So whatever we do as a real-time scenario or whatever the concept we discuss as part of Data Factory or Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist, the same thing can be implemented inside the Synapse workspace as well. Okay, so please keep that in note. And now what we are going to do is let's assume I have a source data and also I have a target where I want the data to go. So before moving the data from source to target, I want to do a comparison check between these two first. Uh, if there is something already existing, I should not take the data. If something is not exist, then only I, I should take the data. So in that scenarios, we can make use of this kind of implementation what we are going to discuss. And also not only this, sometimes uh, you may need to validate your data actually moved fr from source to sync or from source to target or not. So even in such scenario also, the same implementation even you can do and you can see if all the roads moved or not. If something is not moved, if there is any doesn't exist record is there or not. So like that in the validation scenarios or in the change data capture scenarios that is CDC scenarios or in all these kind of scenarios this kind of comparison is actually required to make a final call right. So we are going to discuss that scenario in this video. So let's go to our data factory and let's try to practically see how to implement it. So let me explain you the requirement first. So this is my data lake storage gen2 account inside this I have a ADF demo container and there is a folder called data folder. So inside a data folder, there is a file called employees.csv file. So this is this contains employee ID, name, gender, and skills. So this is the employee information. Let's assume this is my source. Okay. Now target, right? So let's assume I have a Azure server, Azure SQL server. Inside this, I have a SQL database called Mahir SQL DB. So here also I have a table called employees table. And inside this table also I have the same name, same columns with the same data types. And if you see here, this table already contains 12 employees. So all these 12 employees, whatever you are seeing here, these 12 employees are actually same of these 12 employees. That means I should compare this particular source data with this target data and then I should take only non-existing. That means only this 13th employee information I should take for the final call. Okay, maybe I want to take that after doing the comparison, maybe I want to take that record into my table, whatever maybe it is, right? So basically I want to compare these two, this source, this file data along with this uh, table data and then see what any doesn't exist record is there or not. So that is what my requirement. So let's go to data factory and let's see how to implement this. So this is my data factory, Mahir ADF, Mahir, uh, ADF Mahir. If I go to author menu here, under data sets, I, I have already created a data set for my CSV file. See employee CSV file, which is pointing to my employees.csv file in the data folder. If you see the schema, ID, name, gender, everything is string type because if it is a file, whatever type of data you have uh, everything will be interpreted as a string data type only in case of csv files okay so now i have a employee table as well okay so which is in the azure sql database and uh, this is the table name if i see the schema here also id name gender scale so i have already created data sets for my source data and my target data so now let's try to create a new data flow here let me enable data flow debug mode option here meanwhile so this will take around five minutes to enable this let me add a source here so here first is uh, let me say like this is like my source data. So let me give you like this. So because here I am going to select a data set which is pointing to my ADLS Gen2 account employee file. Okay. So if I go to projection, see ID, name, gender and everything is string type. Let me add another source transformation here. This is going to be my target data because from my SQL table, I should take the data and then I should compare right between source and target. So I named it like target data here. Let me select a data set of my employee table here. And if I go projection here, see this is also ID name, gender, skills. All, all columns in the table also I defined as a string only. So if I go to management studio, here also you can see everything is bare care only. Okay. So if it is different in your case, that is fine. What you need to do ultimately is actually what we are going to do uh, on top of this source data and also on top of this target data, uh, we can generate one hash column, which is going to be like a hash value generated by all the columns of the data. Similarly, hash column on the target data, which is going to be generated from all the columns of the data and that columns, that hash columns, we are going to compare and see 
whether those hashes are matching or not if not matching then that record is different if matching that record is same record like that okay so when i practically implement you will make sense but there is one point is when you want to perform a hash on top of your table uh, columns right you need to make sure uh, the column types matches for example if you create a hash value on top of id column which is string type and also hash value on top of id column which is integer type then the hash value even though the value inside the column is same still because of the type is mismatch the hash generated value will be different so that is the reason what we need to make sure is we need to make sure all our source column data types matches with by sync column that means target column data types okay so luckily in my case both are same if it is not the case what you can do in the source transformation you can change the data types accordingly okay so now let me add a on top of my source data let me add a derived column transformation this derived column transformation is going to get me hash column so what let me name it like a hash column on source okay and here also let me name it like a hash column source this is what the column name i want to give and here let me minimize this general properties let me enter the open the expression builder here and inside the expression builders for this hash column source uh, there is a function called sha2 this is going to generate a hash value okay so for this sha2 function you should pass one is numerical value what what this numerical value is going to define like oh, what kind of hash if you see the tooltip here it is if you read the tooltip you you can pass 256 224 all these hash values uh, all these numerical values you can pass to generate your hash key so i am going to use 256 here 256 as a numerical value comma and then if you see after that you can pass the column names actually so for example for, this is on top of my source right if i go to input schema and let me remove this filter here here i have id column name column gender column scale so if i say id column then this is going to generate a uh, hash value for this id column okay but what i want i should consider all the columns from my source file to generate the hash so instead of typing all the columns like this id name comma gender comma salary uh, skills right so you, either you can type all the columns like this or what you can do you can directly use one built-in function called columns so this columns function is going to give you all the columns name all column names from your data okay automatically so on top of all columns generate a hash column so let me save and finish this is what i did for the source data now let me create a hash column for my uh, reference i mean for this target data as well same thing add a derived column transformation let me name it like uh, hash hash column on target okay then let me name column name as like uh, hash hash column target so this is what the name i want to give and if i open the expression builder so same thing i am going to use this sha2 function and i am going to pass 256 and to take all the columns from my source transformation i am going to use columns function which is going to give all the columns dynamically from my uh, transformation source transformation okay so now if i see the projection of this derived column on top of id name gender skills i added another column called hash column target similarly if i see the projection of the hash column on the source if i go to inspect here also you can see the same thing i generated a hash column on top of my uh, existing columns so now let me go to uh, data preview and let me perform the data preview and make sure uh, we are able to generate the hash column values for each row correctly or not so let's wait for the data preview to happen here great see it generated hash columns if you see the hash column of uh, hash column value for one mahir male data factory it is c4560702 right uh, remember this the same value will be generated even for the target also so let me go to target hash column here let me go to data preview and let me refresh here and let's wait for the data preview to happen here great data preview happened if you see the hash column on the target see c45b0702 right if i go to source same value right? that means when your data and the data types are same then the hash value what it generates is going to be always same okay now what i am going to do i want to compare the hash columns to know whether any particular row is already exists in my target or not so for that what i can do i can use this exist transformation on the existing transformation the right stream is going to be my target data hash column okay and now i want to take out only non matching rows if there is any matching if there is any exist that means the same data between source and target if doesn't exist that means some new data right so now here i am going to select my hash column from my source as a left side column for the comparison and from the right side column i am going to say 
hash column on target. Now let me go to data preview and let me refresh. If you see my data, uh, my table has 12 uh, rows what I have in my file as well if you see here. So that means this 13th row is alone missing. All other rows hash columns will match and uh, according to my logic I am trying to fetch the doesn't, doesn't exist records. So it should fetch only 13th employee. See here I got only employee ID 13 because this employee record is not there in the target. That is the reason uh, this row alone came. Rest all other rows actually matched with the hash and we are trying to get doesn't exist records. So it get only 13th. So with this part we can say okay I compared source and trans uh, target data and I see there is only one row one record which is not matching okay from the source. Okay, uh, if, if every record matches here it says no data. So like this we can compare uh, and you can make a call. So once you done your comparison maybe you can load this data into your uh, single table maybe the employee table once again maybe uh, if that is the case or if you don't want to load anywhere maybe you want to log it into some log file and then uh, alert to the development team saying I did a comparison between source and target data but uh, there is some uh, doesn't exist records also there in the source so kindly have a look like that you can send an email to them so whatever you want to do you can do so if uh, so I'm not going to in details a bit about it so you can do according to your need whatever you want to do add a sync transformation and select a data set to your uh, sync location accordingly and then run the data flow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video how to compare source data and target data using mapping data flows in the azure data factory thank you for watching this video uh, again yeah the same scenario can be implemented in the same fashion in the synapse as well okay so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much